My name is David Kolker. I started at God's Love as the MIS manager in the July of 2000. I was in charge of uh, the computer systems. I also, for 10 years, uh, managed delivery in the kitchen. And so I've actually delivered a fair amount to our clients as a substitute driver, but um, I've seen what we do firsthand many, many times now. That, would, that was in the days where we used an atlas and not a smartphone. So it was a little more complicated than today, but um, we also did hot food when I first started. So you loaded your van up with hot entrees, hot soups, um, bagels, and uh, desserts, which were refrigerated. But you had an oven in your van that kept the food hot. I mean, it was a very different delivery model at the time, but it was the same kind of heart, the same going to the client's door. Our drivers tend to drive the same routes because we like the client to have a very a consistent experience. And I have watched drivers who have had really good rapport with their clients, who take an interest in their clients, which is amazing. I've actually seen a driver talk a client into not taking herself off the program. You know, I was van assisting one day and I watched this conversation and I was like, ask, I asked him, and he said that she felt better and that she didn't want to take someone else's food. And of course, I, I'm in IT, but I know our system, and so I actually looked the client up, and she actually has pretty severe cancer. So the driver actually intervened in a situation where the client might have made a bad choice for themselves, out of guilt, out of thinking that they were taking someone else's food. It was kind of amazing. And I think it's, um, our food and our service has changed with people's need. I think we've always been good about seeing where we fall in the landscape and adapting to what our clients' needs are, which is really, it's hard, particularly if you started out as a grassroots movement, to step back and say, okay, it's not about me. <laughs> How can I best serve in this organization for the clients that we're serving now. I mean, when you think of 1.8 million meals with a staff of like 100 people, it's a pretty impressive thing. And so we have to have systems that actually make that happen every day. And I'm very excited to see in the next few years what we can do to um, be a little more innovative. I think oftentimes you were of a certain size that we're one of the bigger players in town in our sector, but that doesn't mean that we can't leverage some insights from other people, maybe not nonprofits, maybe for profits that make us more efficient, more impactful, and also reach more people. People across the country in the HIV AIDS community often look to us as kind of like the, the gold standard, you know, for what we were doing. And I think we have to continually just strive for that.